what other resources are available to me on the club website? What other resources are available to me? So um, if you want to request a mentor, now you should have a mentor. Uh, our VPE and our, and our VPM, our Vice President of Membership and our Vice President of Education, uh, should hopefully have talked to you about having a mentor assigned. Um, we recommend it for everybody. And even if you're a multiple DTM, and we have a couple multiple DTMs in the club, we still recommend you have a mentor, even if it's not somebody in the club, um, so that you have somebody to talk to about your progress and what you want to do. So, you, but, you, but if you don't have a mentor, you could request one by clicking there. What else is here? Member downloads. So um, the member downloads has, has stuff for officers, which is mostly um, club officer minutes, lots of club officer minutes. Um, you know, if you like reading minutes, go ahead. Uh, for the member, we've got alternate agendas, uh, finding time for Toastmasters, which is an article that Lindy wrote, a link to Kyle's Better Evaluating Material, um, because I have a workshop called Better Evaluating, which I've given in our club and so forth. Uh, Ross excellent, excellent resource. Oh, thank you, Karen. Uh, mentor mentee packet. Uh, here's an old roster. We should probably get replaced, get rid of that, and replace it because it's a couple of years old. And general information um, for people who are new, like Toastmaster wears many hats. That kind of walks you through all the roles. What's a grammarian do? What's an ock counter do? What's a timer do? What's an evaluator do? Reading about what an evaluator does before you uh, go into the evaluator exercise is worthwhile. Features and benefits of Toastmasters. If you want to talk to your friend about joining Toastmasters, that can be worth downloading. Um, but, all but, that. But first, you have to have friends, right? <laughs> yeah, it would help if you had friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that could be problematic. Um, member down. So that was member downloads. Um, I don't. I think website settings, membership management. I don't think I can do any of that as Kyle Hall. Loading member did. Oh, okay. So I didn't realize I can look at this. I don't think I can change it, but I can look at this. This is our, these are our members. Gaylene, you really need to go into your email and opt into that request. <laughs> okay, thank you. What's that? I said, thank you. <laughs> because I'm, you see how you're X'd out here? We cannot communicate with you through the club website until you opt in. And if you don't opt in after, I think it's 30 days, you're gone. Oh, maybe I'm gone then. <laughs> well, no, you're here right now. We want you. We want you. Gone <laughs> before I even show up, huh? So what I mean is it will drop, the, it will drop you out of the system if you okay. don't opt in within 30 days. Oh, Thank by the way, by the way. Let me take this moment to say something that's really important about this. We're talking about the club website. We're talking, I'm going to get this off the screen. We're talking about the club website. We're talking about your information that's been put into the club website by the webmaster. TI, Toastmasters International, doesn't know any of this. You have registered with Toastmasters International as a member. You've given them an address, an email, a phone number. It may be completely different or it may be exactly the same as the information you gave us. Our website, the club website, Free Toast Toast, does not talk to Toastmasters International and Toastmasters International does not talk to us. Now, uh, because Free Toast Toast was designed by volunteers. It's not built by Toastmasters International. It's not owned by Toastmasters International. They don't have any kind of electronic interface, nothing. So that means if you do a path and you're recording your pathways progress on your Free Toast Toast website, that's great. You still have to log into TI, go to Basecamp, and record your progress there. If you move or you change your phone or your email or your address, you need to tell our webmaster so they can update your information on the website, a club website, but you need to log into TI and change your information there. And it, I would love to be able to say, 
that the, that TI and the people, the volunteers who built free toast toast have plans to integrate them, but I don't, I've never heard of that. And by the way, Free Toast Toast is not the only service out there. There's also one called Easy Speak. Um, about 50% of the clubs use Free Toast Toast. About 50% of the clubs use Easy Speak. Um, there's a few clubs that build their web pages on um, WordPress, and they and they they just build it themselves. Um, uh, but the only one I have experience with is Free Toast Toast, and I, I just want to make it clear they don't it, the it does not talk to TI and TI does not talk to it. So do not assume because you've updated information on the club website that Toastmasters International knows about it. Now, the other thing that's available to you here is website support documents and website forums. So you can click here and you'll go to a website um, and it may ask you to log in again. And your, your login credentials are exactly the same as the club website. It may ask you to log in again. But when you get down here, new free Toast Toast users, here's, here's some things. Here's how to use email. Here's how to use an agenda. It's the basic stuff. One of the reasons I know this stuff is because I've gone through most of these things. Um, but it, it's basic stuff on how, to, on, on how to use the system. And then down here is for administrators. When you if you eventually become the club website administrator. There's also forums you can go to, but that's usually for specialized information. Like um, one of our members was sending emails and Free Toast Host kept rejecting them, even though it was her valid email. Well, it turns out that the server, the provider she was using, had enough people that were doing spamming that the provider got blacklisted. Even though her email was fine, her provider got blacklisted, and anybody coming from that provider, that, that server, was denied access. And we had to work to get to, to fix that. That's just an example. Okay. Um, it wasn't now, a prince from Nigeria that needed a bank account. <laughs> <I think. laughs> 